Okay, are you ready to rock and roll? Hello everyone, hey Claudia, hi John. Hey Sadie, Michael, Farzana, Olga, Lisa, everybody. Okay, let's get started. I asked you guys to bring a chair today. If you don't have a chair, you can bring a stool, you can step on your coffee table, anything that is about the same height of a chair. You don't really have to step on it today. We're actually going to use it as your assistance. Okay, and some books if you're on carpet. We're going to use those books like gliders. And of course, if you're on a hardwood floor, paper towels or face towel, face or hand towel. Hey, team two. So we're just going to have gliders with books or face or hand towel, okay? Now make sure your book is almost the same height or same thickness. <laughs> and if you have gliders, just use those. Perfect. Okay, these is, and that's just to add challenge. So you don't really need them, okay? All right, let's get started. We're gonna warm up with mountain climbers. Let's use the chair. We're gonna start at the top. We're gonna keep those abs tight. You see this butt? Don't stick that butt up. You wanna tuck it in and squeeze your abs, okay? Shoulders down and back. I want everyone to just pick up that butt, pull the knee in and hold. Just hold, don't move. I want you to hold it in and squeeze your abdominal muscles tight. Yeah, this is how you're supposed to do a mountain climber. You're supposed to be to hold and burn, okay? And then when it sets in, that burn starts to come in, you pull it back, pull the other one in and hold. Now, not here, here, wherever you can pull it into, okay? Now really squeeze it, feel the ab waking up, okay? Because anyone can do this and nothing's happening, but can you hold? That's a whole other story. Then you are going to switch. <laughs> hey team two, thanks for the love. I'm going to start to move a little faster. Now, this is just a little easier on your hands on top of a chair. You wanna make it harder, everyone can go down to their elbow. Make sure your elbow's directly under your shoulder and abs tight, tuck that pelvis forward, pull that knee in, hold for one and two, one and two. See if you can really get it real close to the chair. One and two. Now, if you don't have a chair, that's okay. You're gonna have to do the harder version, which is on the floor, right? As you get lower, again, abs tight. Pull in, hold, one and two. Make sure you keep your abs nice and tight and your back flat. Now, let's run it. Let's go and run it. Now, you can run it on the ground. Keep those abs running. Okay, keep your feet light. Make sure you're not heavy in your feet. If you're heavy in your feet, you just take the workload away from your abs. If this gets tiring, you can put your elbows in the chair and continue. If that gets too hard, raise yourself up and continue. Okay, pull that knee in. Let's finish it up for 10, nine, eight. I'm gonna finish it down here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, if you're doing that right, your abs should be burning. Now, if your arms are weak, you might feel the arms burning, shoulders burning first. That's okay. When you get stronger, you should feel this burning first, okay? Now, for those of you who want to add challenge, you can add your gliders. <laughs> or if you don't have a glider, use books on the carpet or face or hand towel on the tile or hardwood floor, so slippery, okay? But be careful, put your hand Stabilize your hand first, then place it on. Now, pull it in. Now, this is easier when you're on a chair. You don't really feel it as much. Get down lower and you'll feel it more. Okay, get down even lower. And now you really feel it. Now, try not to bounce your bum up and down because that means you're using your legs. You don't want to do that. You want to keep your abs tight, your back neutral, and your butt right here where it belongs. Tuck that pelvis forward, abs tight. And now you're light in your feet. You're not cheating. You're really working your core. So you're really pulling it all the way in the way we warmed up. Remember how we held it when we warmed up? We held that knee. You want to pull it right in the way you warmed up. So no cheating, nice and strong. Finish up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and time. Gliders! <laughs> Remember that move, okay? I wanna come back to it. 
Right now, I want you guys to warm up those push-ups. If your arms hurt, just go like this, okay? For your wrists, get a little bit stretch and mobility. Okay, some of you are gonna be doing it on your chair. I want everybody to do it on the chair. So you do it right. Armpit, right there. Okay, on your knees for some of you. <sighs> Come and stop. Can you stop at 90 degree on the elbow bend? That's the secret. Okay, anyone can do that. But can you do this and push? If you can do this and push, you're ready for this and push. Can you do it with the whole 90 degree in the elbow, perfect, perfect form and push? Otherwise, it's not a real push up. Okay, now if you feel like, yeah, I could do that, that's easy, I'm bored. I doubt it, but then you can get on the ground. <laughs> now, and push. Perfect push up to get strong. You gotta be able to get down to the range of motion right here to 90 degree. If you're struggling to get down, you're over here trying to get down. You're not getting any stronger anytime soon. You need to make sure it is hard in a way that you can execute. So get the chair on it. I'd rather do it on the chair and do it right than to do it on the ground and do it wrong. Okay, so practice those push-ups. I'm gonna get some water. I want you guys to burn your tricep right after. So this is really back-to-back -back super setting. Get up off the floor now. I want you guys to practice your tricep dips. I'm showing you these moves so when you start the workout, we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna sit on that chair. Hands next to your hips, just like this. Okay, I'm gonna glide off that chair. Now, the closer your legs are, the easier it is. The further your legs are, the harder it is. So start slow here. Keep your butt close to the bench. Make sure your butt's not over here because you're gonna kill your shoulders. You wanna make sure your butt's close to the bench or the chair. Raise up and lean into it to work the tricep. Stop at 90 degree. Elbow bend, do not go down too low because if you go down too low, you're just hyperextending your shoulders, no good. This is easy, take your legs away. Tricep dip, okay? Sometimes you wanna challenge yourself one leg, be even harder, okay? You wanna do one leg, that's super hard. If it gets too hard, bring your legs closer, continue. Too hard, get your legs all the way in. Get your legs to help you, see this? You can even have it all the way in. If your arms are burning, it's okay, okay? That's the tricep dip. You wanna do it right, feel in the back of those arms. <laughs> okay, and then from there, guys, let's practice those squats, make them perfect. We got a chair today, so it's a perfect opportunity to practice good squats. Perfect form in a squat actually looks like this. Most people just kind of start going down. Nothing is even activated. Feet facing straight at me, straight at me, right? You're gonna turn your toes against the ground, all them toes, heel and everything. You're gonna turn it outward without moving them. So see how my knees look like this? As soon as I try to turn, my knees naturally want to open. You can feel your knees opening and your butt is clenching. Then you're going to lower yourself while you're still rotating the feet outward without moving them. <laughs> okay, you're gonna do it with the chair. So again, rotate the feet without moving it. Squeeze your glute, knees are now open, come down all the way and hold. Can you hold your squat at 90 degrees? Most people can't. They can do that, they can do this, but that doesn't make you strong. You gotta be able to squeeze it all up, hold it down, and that's why the chair is great. If you can't, you hold on to the chair, you practice. You sit here until your legs burn like hell, because <laughs> that means you're gonna get strong. If you burn it, it'll firm. Burn it to firm it. <laughs> Strengthen it. Now it's burning. Then you can squat. Whew. Can you go back to 90 degrees and come up? If you can't, use the chair. If you can't, you can hold the chair. You can do whatever you want. Get closer, right? Learn to do things right so you get strong. Or else you're just exercising. You want to train. You want to get good. Now, for those of you who feel, yeah, this is good, I can jump. You can go down and jump. 
We get a little bit of help. Use a chair. You can jump now, it really burns, especially since I got you on your squat for so long. Your legs are burning like a fire. You're like, you want me to jump now? <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like. Let's go and start from the top. We're gonna go back to back. Push up, tricep dip, squatting hold, squatting jump. There we go. 10 good push ups, okay? So, some of you are gonna do it on this. I'm gonna do it with you on the chair today, okay? It's hard for me to do it on the chair when I'm doing it slow. Squeeze your butt, shoulders back, lower, pause, push. That's one. <laughs> hold, two, hold, three. Doing it so well today. No one's just, no plowing through movements, doing them all over the place. This is training. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get you guys strong. Change that body composition. <sighs> Eight, <sighs> nine, <sighs> ten. That's how you do it. Flip around. Let's burn those triceps. Sit down. Put your hand. Again, you can do this on a coffee table as well. Okay, put your hands on a coffee table. Pause. That's one. Pause. That's two. Okay, three. So for some of you, you can take your leg off the floor if you want. If you want to get fancy, make it harder. It's up to you, but you don't have to. Gets too hard, bring the legs closer. Up, up. At some point you can't hold anymore, so you can go a little faster. Let's go for another 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Keep that bum close to that bench. Make sure you don't move away from that bench and Overstretch your shoulders. Keep it close. Down. Finish it off with five, four, three, two, and time. That should super burn. Turning around. Squats. Now, some of you are just going to do perfect squat again, right? Toes pointing. Turn them and down. Stay there. Perfect form. You can hold onto the chair if you're good and don't need it. Great. Then some of you are gonna squat. We're gonna do 30 seconds worth of perfect squats. Just squatting, making sure your legs are still, your feet still turning upwards without moving against the ground. Keep your knees open. I'm gonna jump. Now you can jump super high if you want, or just continue with doing squats, or continue with holding squat. Okay, you pick. But pick the thing you can do well. If it challenges you, that's all we're looking for. Because if it challenges you, it changes you. If you're sloppy, you're just trying to get it done, not doing it right, nothing's gonna change. <laughs> Finish it off, here we go, 10 seconds. Nine, I'm jumping. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. <sighs> My legs on fire. Even squatting is hard when you're doing it right. Right, let's get some water. How's team two doing? Are you guys good? Get some water. You can practice that later. Practice doing perfect squats when you're watching TV. Just get that chair in front of you. All right, let's bring those bladders back up. Now, you may not even need it. Let's practice without the gliders first, without the book or your face towel. Let's start at the top. So remember how you learn the mountain climbers? Shoulders back, butt down, abs tight. Okay? I want you to open your legs nice and wide. So I'm going to make sure you can see me and I'll go like this. Open nice and wide. Make sure abs are still tight, but still squeezed. Close it. You're gonna jump in for now. Jump out. Four, three, two, one. It looks like that, okay? Open leg, close leg. Jump in, jump out. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can also do it on your elbows. Okay, so if you can jump, jump. If you can't jump, just step open. Step close, in, out, one, two, three, 
Oh, now some of you are going to say, I'm going on the floor. And if you want to go on the floor, you can do that. Okay, so it looks like this on the floor. You don't have to use gliders yet. You could just move like you did without the gliders. But if you wanted to try with the gliders or the book or the paper towel or the face towel, again, strong. You're gonna open, you're gonna close. Make sure you got the book in your You're gonna tuck it in to squeeze your abs, pull it back up, and one, two, three, four. Start again. Open, close, tuck it until you feel your abs burn. Pull it back. Four, three, two, one. Open, close, tuck, squeeze those abs, pull it back. Four, three, two, one, strong. Open, close, tuck it till it burns, pull it back. Four, three, two, one. Now if your arms are hurting, get on your elbows. Okay, your wrist is hurting on your elbows. Again, open, close, tuck it in, feel those abs, pull it out. Four, three, two, one. Let's go for another 10 seconds. Tuck it in, squeeze. Don't just tuck it in and put your weight on, your, on the books. You want to really lift up and pull. Be deliberate. <sighs> one more round. Come on, let's do one more round together. Open, close, tuck it in, pull it up. Four, three, two, and time. <sighs> so that was for your core. Shoulders should be burning too. If the wrist hurts, just go like this. Okay? Feel good. All right. Oh, guys, I see Claudia still going. You guys can get up, get some water. <laughs> All right, after water, it's lunch. We're going to go into lunge. So, we're going to use a chair to help you do perfect lunges, like we used a chair to do perfect squats. <sighs> okay, I want you guys to stand in front of your chair or your coffee table, anything that you can stand in front of that is the height of a chair. Okay. I want you to stand on one side of the chair. Okay, so on one side of the chair, you see that? The other one is in the center. I'm gonna step back. Step back and just make sure you're 90 degree. I'm gonna do this so you can really see me. 90 degree, 90 degree. Okay, nothing else. Curl that toe in, take that knee off the floor. Keep your butt pushed back just a little bit. So you're sort of leaning forward, putting more emphasis on the bum. You're gonna get that knee off. Step up, come down, pause. Can pause, use your hands to help you up. This is how you get strong. If you just, I see people do this. It's like, you're not going anywhere. You're not getting any stronger. You need to be able to hold. If you can't hold, use the chair and come up. You want to hold till that butt burns, that leg is burning up. Okay? Now make sure that knee is open. See this knee? Open. Okay, guys, team number two, open. Pointing to the third toe. Okay, practice proper form. Let's try the other leg, then we're going to alternate, okay? So right leg on the other side of the chair or the bench, 90 degree, 90 degree. Stand up. Come back to that same spot, pause. Get down nice and low, 90 degree. If you can't hold there, use the chair and get back up. Hold the chair or no chair, and up, right? It's such a good thing to have a chair, help you out get into the perfect lunge. Make sure that knee's open and not closed. Open to the third toe, so your hips, everything is in good alignment. Now, can you alternate? Alternating, so now you're gonna step side to side. Check this out, I'm gonna do this. See one leg on this side, go by the side. See, I'm just gonna step wide, go down. If I can't get up, I'm gonna use the chair and help myself up. Alternate, guys, alternate. I'm gonna alternate right here. See this, down. Now for some of you, you wanna jump, you feel good, you got a handle on this, you don't even need the chair. Then you can feel free to jump. Okay, or use the chair to help you jump properly. Okay, strong. 
If not, continue getting strong, holding. And holding, right? Get strong. Finish it off for 10 more seconds. I'm gonna jump the last 10 seconds. You guys can walk it. You guys can hold in one position. You can do your squats, whatever you like. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> My legs was on fire. Ooh. Water time, guys. <sighs> Get some water. We're gonna go down on the ground after this and work our butt. Glute bridge. Butt abs, hamstring, yeah, the whole body. Okay. Guys, you can do your hip bridge on the floor, work your bum and your lower back. Have your chair or coffee table nearby because you can use that after too, so keep it there. All right, the idea is to bring your feet together and raise abs tight, raise your butt, squeeze your glute. Elbows on the ground, just give you a little bit of help if you need it. No elbows is harder, right? Elbows is easier, raise up and hold. Now, squeeze your glute. Some of you can probably lift one leg up, down and up. Now, if you can't lift it up and hold, you put your one leg on the chair or your bench while the other one's on the ground. The bottom leg on the ground is doing the work, okay? So drive your heel through the ground. Drive that heel in and raise up, squeeze. Make sure you don't arching your back. So sometimes we'll get people to do this so they don't arch their back. Down, up, hold. Down, up, hold. Come down nice and slow and raise up, hold, and strong. Come down nice and slow, raise up, hold, and strong. So there's a tempo. If you want to get really strong on the glute, you got to do it slower with more control and deliberate movements. Make sure slow control and back up. Okay. Now let's switch legs after three, two, and one. Now I'm squeezing it really hard deliberately so I can feel my butt burning. That was just a bit of a warm up. Switching legs. Now you can do it on the ground with both legs if you feel it's too difficult. One leg with a bit of assistance. So raise up, hold, squeeze, wait for it. Or you can do no leg if you feel like I can handle this. Okay, no assistance or assistance. Slowly lower and raise up, hold, squeeze, wait. I'm gonna say lower, three, two, one, up, hold for one, and two, three, two, one, up, hold, one, and two, three, two, one, up, one, and two, follow that tempo, up, one, and two. Now there is another up version harder than this. Okay, so you can finish this off. Let's finish this off for three more together. Three, two, I'm not using my elbows, so it's a little harder, but I got my legs to help me. And one. Okay, the harder version is putting both legs on the chair. Okay, now you're elevated. Makes it harder. Okay, so you can try that. We'll just remain on the ground, okay? You're gonna raise up, squeeze your butt, wait for the burn to set in. Dig your heels into the ground. Now, some of you are still doing the floor, make sure your heels are on the ground as well, right? Again, I'm gonna do one leg. Here's one, lower slow. Two, three, four. Really digging those heels in, okay? Five, six. Now I'm using my elbows to help me out a little bit because it is a little harder now. Going up for nine, 10. Let's go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Burning. Switch legs. Again, you can do it on the floor with a bit of help, or you can put the entire both legs on the bench. Raise up. I'm gonna switch legs, lower slow. Drive up strong and hold and squeeze. Come down slow. Now do the first 10 like this. 
Okay, here's number three. Up. If it's too hard for you to get on the ground, and also you can go a little faster if it's too hard for you to go slow. Okay? But you want to be able to control it. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we've got five more. Here we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You can feel the glute and the hamstrings too, okay? Going into abs, guys. I'm going to abs real quick here. Now, I want you guys to put your legs on the bench or the chair for now. You're gonna flex forward. So do this with your hands. Okay, do this with your hands. So it's nice and strong. Flex forward so your head is off the ground. Then you're gonna pull it in and touch your toes. Bring it back up and gently place it on the chair. Not, not a big thumb, gentle tap, touch. Touch. I want you guys to really crunch those abs and come forward and squeeze. So don't just do this because you won't feel your abs. You need to come off the ground, reach for those toes, come back without laying your head back on the ground. Touch. Keep your head off the floor. <sighs> okay, I'm not even touching the chair anymore. I'm just going to keep my legs afloat. That's harder. If you find it too hard, touch and come back. Place the leg on the chair and come back if that's easier for you, okay? If you're more advanced, you can definitely just get rid of the chair altogether and just do it without the chair. <sighs> Doing this shit off for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, nice and control, five, four, three, two, <sighs> one more. <sighs> Okay, let's keep the burn going. You can place your leg on the chair just like this and flex <sighs> like Superman. You're just gonna try and touch your own heels, even though you're not gonna reach it. But you're gonna aim, you're gonna aim for it. <sighs> now, the harder version is to take your feet off the chair altogether. <sighs> let's go for 10, nine, and eight at your own pace. Okay, just keep the burn going. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Keep the burn going into bicycle. You're gonna flex forward. One, two, three. You can touch the chair, tap the chair, whatever you like, whatever makes it easier, or no chair. And just do it without the chair. One, two, we're gonna make our way backwards to 10, okay? Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Your ass should be totally on fire right now. Okay, you went back to back. That was awesome. Just a quick little stretch, one on your side, elbow under your shoulder. Bottom legs bent, top legs straight. Okay, I'm gonna stretch right over. Come back down. Raise that hip off the ground. Reach over, come back down. You're gonna feel a little bit of burn in the hip when you raise your hips up. You're gonna feel a little bit of burn in your obliques right here on the side, left handle. That's all a good thing, okay? Reaching, see if you can touch the floor, arm straight, like a windshield wiper, over and touch. Okay? Try and do this later a little bit more. Create some mobility, strengthen your core while you can stretch the side of your body. Okay, try the other side real quick. Bottom feet bent, top leg straight, elbow under the shoulder, pushing this chair away. All right, raise the hip up, burn. Burning the, the hip and the love handle, boom. Really reach and stretch, guys. Don't give me a little short arm like this. I want a long arm, big arms. Okay, raise that hip up like you mean it. Squeeze everything down here. Feel good. Repeat this later. Enjoy it. Okay, finish it up for three, two, and one. Very good. Done, guys. All right, practice that later. Do a little bit more. Like, try to do 50 on each side. 25, okay, 25 on each side. All right, enjoy the stretches, enjoy the strengthening work. You guys did awesome today, thank you. Thank you for joining me, guys. Thank you.